<coughs> hey, welcome back. I just uh, finished my last video a minute ago. So, I'm just going to plow through chapter 19 of 2 Nephi, or chapter 9 of Isaiah, and see if they have anything interesting to say, or any drinks for me. Like I said, I read this months back, but I haven't really read that far ahead. I kind of don't want to read it unless I'm making a video at this point. So, sometimes I'll read the chapter before, but chapter 19 I haven't read uh, for months. And I don't have a great memory. I wonder why. Nevertheless, the dimness shall be such as was in her vexation. When at first he lightly afflicted the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, and afterwards, afterwards did more grievously afflict uh, by the way of the Red Sea beyond Jordan in Galilee of the nations. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. Thou hast multiplied the nation and increased the joy. They joy before thee according to the joy and harvest, as men rejoice when they devoid, divide the spoil after one of those Old Testament slaughters, no doubt. I'm sure some of that spoil is human slaves. Yeah, really good morality. For thou hast broken the yoke of his burden. Yeah, gave it to someone else. And the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor. Yeah. Some of these Israelites like to give uh, their their the, the booty of their spoil a rod. <laughs> For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. For unto us a child is born. Time to cherry pick. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. See, now that sounds like it. Actual real royalty. I mean, someone born in a palace with servants and... Real royalty, like a pharaoh, like like a king. Not some carpenter's son born in a stable. <sighs> and his name, the guy with a government on his shoulder. Yeah, and when did Jesus ever have anything to do with the government in his time, in his life? Nothing. And you can't say the great churches... Or he's governing them because he's not telling anyone what to do uh, except through their magical book and their oracles and shit and their dreams and stuff. No wonder these videos are running long. They shouldn't have. They should have taken my limitations away. What were they thinking? All right. Yeah, the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful. Counselor, the Mighty God. Now we're talking about someone who sounds a little like, uh, oh, Hezekiah. Uh, and rather than go into the whole Hezekiah thing, I'm just going to, like I said, the last video, and this one, and probably the next, I've included a link to a blog article I wrote a while back where I talked about Matthew's specious Old Testament prophecies of Jesus. And uh, and there's people on YouTube that have done it even better. Yeah, so 
I'm sure I don't need to tell anybody about this. No need to preach to the choir. <laughs> His name shall be wonderful. Counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Yeah, Hezekiah was a great guy, apparently. I mean, they really liked him a lot. They said he was the greatest king ever. It's in the Bible. And I cite it in that article, so I'm not going to do it here because I don't remember right now and I'm not scripted. <laughs> All right. Prince of Peace, of the increase of government and peace, there is no end. Yeah, Hezekiah had a nice peaceful period. I mean, for a while. Of course, he was king for quite a... I forgot how long. I mean, more than 20 years, I know. I mean, I forgot how long. I, I haven't done any homework. You know, unsub me. I mean, I don't deserve you. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I haven't done any homework. But anyway, read the article. I did homework for that. And then I forgot it all after I wrote it down. Yeah. All right. Of the increase of government and peace, there is no end. Upon the throne of David, which di Jesus never sat on. No, he's just on a throne in the cloud. And I hope he never flushes, because we're down here. <laughs> and upon his kingdom... To order it. Well, he had no kingdom until after he died. Hezekiah did, though, and he did a pretty good job, I understand. I mean, so much that Isaiah had to, like, make the sun go backwards. You know, so the shadow on a sundial would go back ten degrees. You know, so they... All right, go ahead and lance that boil on Hezekiah's ass. I guess he might live after all. <laughs> yeah, Hezekiah was a big deal. In Jesus' time, for all we know, he's just a pop icon, you know? And quickly, I mean, Messiah of the week. I mean, because that's really the way it was. I mean, just watch Life of Brian. they got to do a pretty good job of that. All right. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, throw in a kingdom. Uh, uh, upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it his judgment and with justice from henceforth. Well, Jesus didn't start judging people in after, until after he died. But Hezekiah did it during his lifetime and apparently was celebrated for how smart he was. I mean, fuck Solomon. Hezekiah was a lot smarter. I mean, it takes more wisdom to profit from good advice than to give it, fucking prophets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Establish judgment with justice from henceforth, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. The Lord sent his word unto Jacob, but not this Jacob. The, another Jacob. In the Bible. Not this gold, uh, early, you know, not all that shines is gold, is it? If I scratch this, I wonder what I'd get. The truth, I'd probably. Hmm. All right. The Lord sent his word unto Jacob, and it hath lighted upon Israel, who's, and that's another name for Jacob. I mean, that's like saying, Cassius Clay complimented Muhammad Ali for being so great. I mean, I guess it's all right, fine, you know. <laughs> yeah. And all the people shall know, even Ephraim, 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 all right, and the inhabitants of Samaria, yeah, they don't like them Samarians, that, stay, that say in the pride and stoutness of heart, the bricks are fallen down, but we will build with hewn stones. The sycamores are cut down, but we will change them into cedars. Therefore the Lord shall set up the adversaries of Ryzen, reason against him and join his enemies together. The Syrians before 
and the Philistines behind, and they shall devour Israel with open mouth, and then the Philistines will disappear. They don't say that, but that's what happened. We don't really know what happened to them. I guess they got absorbed or wiped out. Yeah. Uh, the Syrians before the Philistines behind, and they shall devour Israel with open mouth for all this. His anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. God, he's pissed. For the pride turneth not unto him that smiteth them, nor do they seek the Lord of hosts. You never call. Therefore will the Lord cut off from Israel head and tail, branch and rush in one day. The ancient, he is the head, the prophet that teacheth lies, is the tail. For the leaders of the people cause them to err. Need I say more? And they that are led of them are destroyed. Therefore the Lord shall have no joy in their young men, neither shall have mercy in their fatherlessness. Wait, in the mercy on the, their fatherless and widows, for every one of them is a hypocrite. Ah, maybe that's where Jesus got his problem for hypocrites. And an evildoer. And every mouth speaketh folly. For all this, his anger is not turned away. But his hand is stretched out still. For wickedness burneth as the fire, and it shall devour the briars and thorns, and kin, uh, and shall kindle in the thickets of the forests, and they shall mount up like the lifting up of smoke. Through the wrath of the Lord of hosts is the land of... Is, uh, is the land darkened, and the people shall be as fuel of the fire. No man, shall, no man shall spare his brother, and he shall snatch on the right hand and be hungry, and he shall eat on the left hand, and they shall not be satisfied. And they shall eat every man the flesh of his own arm. So that was the big problem of this arm of flesh that they kept going on about. Because if you have an arm of flesh, you might eat the flesh of your arm. It makes perfect sense when you don't think about it. Or you've had uh, too much of this. All right. <sighs> Manesh, Ephraim, and Ephraim and Manesh, Manessa, uh, something like that. Uh, they together shall be against Judah for all this. His anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. Well, that'll, that'll learn me. It wasn't a drink in that goddamn book. So, maybe I'll read another chapter. in another video. I'm trying to keep the link down.